Do any of these six flavor boosts improve the flavor of Kraft Dinner? Find out today on That's Rank. Welcome back to That's Rank, and today we are looking at the icky, sticky world of Kraft Dinner. If you grew up as a student in Canada, you certainly recognize this from your dorm room. It's a pantry staple for students all across the country that are looking to obtain an education in the hopes of someday being able to take on a job that affords them the luxury of eventually adding hot dogs and ketchup to their craft dinner. I haven't taken a bite of the stuff in about 20 years time, but I do get a foul whiff of the Paw Patrol version about once a week when it's heated up. It's one of the four major food groups that my son consumes. This summer, in an effort to boost dinner time and probably their profit margins as well, Kraft dropped six new flavor packs into the pasta pot. The six flavor options include butter chicken, <laughs> buffalo wing, hey. jalapeno, puts in, <laughs> ugh, cotton candy, and Ghost purple. You would not believe the trouble I had to go through to get this. I didn't realize it was exclusively sold online. I visited every single store in the Metro Ottawa area, including Real Canadian Superstore, Loblaws, Independent Grocer, Farm Boy, Sobeys, No Frills, even Metro, who doesn't carry any of the flavor packs. Of course, in order to sample the Kraft Dinner, we must prepare the Kraft Dinner, which is reportedly now cheesier. Oh. My confidence in cooking this may shock you following the disaster of the apple pie hot dog, but it's craft dinner for God's sakes. Oh, damn it. We're gonna start with the original Kraft Dinner. This is the one we all grew up with before Kraft Dinner decided to get cute a couple months ago and start mixing weird things in with our pasta. It's better than I remember. I seem to remember butter being very overpowering and maybe it's because I went a little bit easy with the addition of the butter. This is okay. Rating this on the cheese scale, we'll put this in the Gruyere area. Our first mix in is the Buffalo Wing Mac and Cheese. What I expect in a good Buffalo Wing are a couple of things. I want a very vinegary pepper sauce, like a Frank's hot sauce, and I want a very rich butter flavor. Given that the regular Kraft Dinner didn't have an overpowering butter flavor, I'm expecting this to be picked up in the sauce itself. That's weird and gross. I can see what they were going for, but they're wrong. That's not vinegar in there. I don't know what that is. Kraft, you did me wrong on this one. On the cheese scale, this one comes in as nacho thing. The most Canadian entry is our second flavor boost, and that's puts in. It's not poutine. It's not Putin. And I say this as a guy with a really poor French accent. If I can say puts in, you can say puts in. And now I'm going to be puts in this in my mouth. It's interesting. They managed to do an okay recreation of sauce brune, which literally translates into brown sauce. You didn't think you'd learn French on this channel. Don't worry, I can't promise I'm right. I don't taste the cheese curd. I just taste the cheese on the mac and cheese. I want my cheese curds. <laughs> My cheese cold. We'll rate this one. Cheese Louise. Jalapeno. I grow my own jalapenos. I pickle my own jalapenos. I have very high expectations for what a jalapeno tastes like. And to make it clear, a jalapeno tastes like a jalapeno. But does this taste like a jalapeno? These are very clearly dried jalapeno flakes. Really, that's all I'm asking for to be happy. Give me real jalapeno flavor. This one, we're gonna praise Jesus. Our fourth mix in is butter chicken. I do love a good butter chicken. This smells like butter chicken. Like if you covered this up right now, you'd be able to convince me that there was butter chicken in here. But like if you mixed up a pot of this in the kitchen, I'd come downstairs so excited and then be immediately disappointed by this. There's really good Indian flavor kicking through on this. This is good, but is this better than the jalapeno? I'm gonna say that it is, because it attempted to recreate a dish. It did a really good job of it. Jalapeno was one ingredient. This, there's some complexity going on here. This gets my highest possible cheese rating. Great. <sighs> Cotton candy. When I see pasta, but smell vanilla, I'm a very confused and unhappy camper. Literally, if I'm making pasta, dessert is the last thing that I wanna smell. No. Maybe not the last thing. Sure, if we think about it for a while, we can come up with worse. Wet shoes, mature skunk, eggs of any kind. I don't do eggs. I don't want to eat anything that smells like a wet fart. 
Down the hatch. No, no, no. What? Who decided this needed to come to life? I wouldn't serve this to a kid. I'm not sure I'd serve this to a dog. And I've seen dogs eat some stuff. I feel like they'd turn up their nose at this. This is unnecessary. This doesn't need to exist. Your cheese ranking? This isn't very Gouda. Our final entry is the ghost pepper. And once I eat this, I'll actually be able to wear this shirt honestly. This was so hard to locate. Metro doesn't even carry any of the flavor boosters. If you're good enough to sell spam, you're good enough to sell this. Metro, oh, we're hoity-toity now. Shut up, Metro. So I saved this for last in the event it's genuinely a spicy dish. Spicy dish was my online dating handle. For about the last 10 years or so, ghost pepper's just been a marketing ploy. Most people won't serve you genuine ghost pepper because it hurts. But given that you've got to place a special internet order and it comes with this rocking shirt that I'm going to be sporting all over Ottawa, there's a chance this could deliver. I'm not expecting the real deal, but a heavy burn would be appreciated and would also make me angry because I don't want to eat a ghost pepper. Yowza. Oh. As someone who's had real ghost pepper in the past, this is not it, but it's, it's intense. Genuine ghost pepper extract tastes like turpentine. It's terrible. And as soon as it hits your mouth, it's like lava. It goes numb, you're in pain. My nose started bleeding. I don't know why. This is a medium to hot hot sauce. Think of those specialty hot sauces that you get in the store with names like blow out your colon or the devil's butt crack. That's where this falls. This this is the devil's butt crack. I, I don't need to take another bite of this. It, it did what it needed to do. This gets a rating of your cheddar off without this. Well, we did it. We tried seven different craft dinners. Don't forget to ring the little bell so you get notifications every time a new video drops. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and we'll see you next week on That's Rank. I'm fairly certain it'll be a long time before I have another box of cheesy macaroni. Dangerously cheesy.